Hello, my beautiful Sagittarius. I hope you all are doing amazing. Today, I'm going to be tapping into the energies of your love life. So it's going to be your general love reading for the week here. Uh, so pretty much whatever comes out for you guys. Okay, let's see. So on the bottom of the deck here, guys, we have indecisive. I know my inability to make a decision hurts you. Okay. So the first card that wanted to come out for you guys is mend. I want to fix our connection. Okay. And then we have time. I'm afraid it's too late to take action. And sabotage. I mess up the good things in my life sometimes. Well, what I see here so far, Sagittarius, is potentially someone wanting your forgiveness, wanting to fix the dynamic between the both of you, but a part of them tells them that maybe it's too late to fix things. They are well aware that, you know, the fact that they weren't able to make a decision has really affected this bond here. They also feel like they were in their own way, right? With that sabotage card that talks about someone who feels like they let their negative thoughts win or they let that little voice in their head that was telling them that things weren't going to be successful. They let that voice kind of overpower what they essentially wanted with you. So again, guys, we have the six of wands on the bottom of the deck here, okay? And then split the deck, we have the lovers. So not surprised, the lovers kind of goes hand in hand with that indeci indecisive card or indecision card, sorry, on the bottom of the deck there. So I feel like for many of you, this person is at a crossroads right now when it comes to what to do about this connection because they feel a pull towards you. They feel like, you know, um, they really do love you. They feel, again, some sort of um, really deep connection. That's what the lovers talks about, right? You know, some may call it a soulmate connection. Either way, they just feel very drawn to you and they are kind of like, what do I do about this connection at this time? And they seem to be very stressed out. Time may have been a large factor, okay, in this bond, because in the middle there, in the mutual energy, we have the time card, right? I'm afraid it's too late to take action. So as much as your person may feel like this, you may agree. You may feel like you're trying to move on, or you may feel like your emotions have changed, or you're no longer interested. Or for some of you, you feel like you have already worked through something that was that you were battling on your own. Now, if this person does come in, or even if they're speaking to you now, it's not like they're helping you fix anything. It's almost like some of you feel like you had to, you know, uh, give yourself the closure, okay? So you're not really sure what your person is going to do to assist you through the healing process. Um, let's see. The Fool. Yeah, I see this person acting on their emotions, like someone who just ends up feeling a lot of emotions here and they're kind of like, okay, I want to act on it. I can no longer hold back. That's what the Fool card talks about. So I see this person moving towards you. Maybe you guys are already communicating with this person, but they're, but you know, they are communicating with you in hopes that they can restore some sort of balance here. Okay, they're hoping that you don't move away from them. And I do see that right now. They feel like somewhat of an outsider, somewhat of, you know, uh, someone who does not know what you're up to. You know, maybe there's limited communication here. Or if you guys are communicating, you're not really telling this person your next move. You're not really telling them how you feel. You're kind of, uh, you know, it's like surface level conversation. This person is very confused in terms of what the future holds. You know, the fool is taking a leap of faith towards something, but you're not really sure what the outcome is going to be. It's almost this energy of, can we try this again? And this time around, I don't want to be in my own way with that sabotage card. Seven of Swords and the King of Wands. Some of you feel betrayed by this person, right? We have the death card at the bottom of the deck here. So we have uh, scorpion energy, but 
I just feel like for some of you with that seven of swords, you feel like this person is still, they have something up their sleeve. They're still doing something behind your back. Even if they're speaking to you, you feel like they're up to no good in one way or another. King of Wands is an energy of someone who goes after what they're passionate about. But what I see here is some of you are questioning whether this person is involved just for, uh, you know, the wrong reasons here. You may feel like they're passionate about you, but you're wondering, is this really love? Does this have the time or does this, can this, um, you know, it, it's almost like you're thinking about if this will be a long-term connection. You understand the passion is here. You understand there may even be some sort of feelings involved, but you're always, you're also always wondering why is there something constantly in the way of us moving things to the next level? There's something like when it comes to the depths of this connection, you feel like there's a key component missing. So this could be, you know, expression of emotion. Maybe you feel like this person's very passionate when you guys are together, you have a lot of fun. But when it comes to intimacy, they, this person shies away. And I'm not talking about the intimacy you guys think I'm talking about. I'm talking about someone who may even be fearing commitment. Okay, someone who lacks the ability to trust. So this could be an individual with trust issues and you feel like if they don't work through that, there's no way that you guys can be together. Okay. It's like you want to have a heart-to-heart -heart conversation with this person or explore the depths of this connection, but you feel like they're not ready to do that, okay? And in no way am I saying you feel like this is a surface level connection. I just feel like you're questioning how deep are this person's emotions or how far can this connection actually go? Knight of Wands, yeah. You know, Sagittarius, for some of you, Page of Wands on the bottom of the deck, so I will say this person is passionate about you, but for some of you, this may have started off as, uh, you know, like, like you may have been this person's friend first or like a friends with benefits situation, okay? For some of you, I'm going to be very real with you. You may feel like the passion is there in terms of you guys understand each other's love language. Maybe this person is great in bed, but when it comes to thinking about the next moves, when it comes to thinking about an actual commitment, you know, uh, bringing some sort of solid decision into this bond, you feel like this person faces difficulty. For others of you, it could be flipped where you feel like the connection is there, but this person has a hard time fighting temptations elsewhere. Like this could be someone where when they're upset with you, they step out on the bond, or you may feel like this is someone who has their options open. Okay. Now, this is it's an energy of you feeling that this person needs to control their urges or they need to stop acting so impulsively. That's what I essentially see here. And again, King of Wands, Knight of Wands, that's, that there's a difference there, right? There's a difference when it comes to emotional maturity, when it comes to uh, both energies pursuing what they're passionate about. The King is always more stable. They know what they want. They're going to work towards it every day. You know, on the other hand, the Knight is someone who is very in and out. You know, um, they could say something today, they could say something tomorrow completely, that's completely different, right? It's also an energy of someone who does things on their time, which lets me know that for some of you, you feel this person only communicates with you when it's convenient for them. Okay, two of wands. Let's see, guys. So three of cups, bottom of the deck here. Hmm. So two of wands, there is definitely some sort of distance here. It could be that you guys met online and then you guys had to like um, meet in person later on here where this person had to travel towards you. But the two of wands is also an energy of planning, right? He has the world in his hands there. That's what it's, you know, that's what it means. That's what the images are symbolic for. So I see that <coughs> for some of you, this is an energy of this person planning to come forward. But what I will say, fool card, you know, we have a lot of wands energy, but this is very flighty Sagittarius. This is someone, yes, they do want to solve things with you, but it may be because they want to come in before it's too late or, or you know, time is playing a large role here. Time is a, a large factor here. But I feel like when it comes to having a solid plan or when it comes to making a solid dis decision here, this person is still struggling. Like this is someone who who wants to connect with you because they don't want to lose the connection, but they don't really know what they want for the future or what they're going to do to, again, solidify this connection. They, they know they want to reconnect with you. 
So if that's what if that's what you want, then of course this would be a great thing. But if you're wanting this person to know what they want for the future, or you know what you want for the future and you want this person to meet you halfway, you may find that there's some sort of blockage here that still exists, right? So it just depends on you know your perspective as well when it comes to this bond here. Um, the Fool. Nine of Cups. Yeah. Nine of Pentacles. Wow. You know, you make this person very happy, but a part of them tells them that you are better off without them. You know, again, we do have the sabotage card, but this person feels like they either cause a lot of drama in your life or you physically literally <clears throat> look happier when you're not involved with them. There's something about this person feeling like they weigh you down or, you know, there's something about their character that you can't stand. They've disappointed you in one way or another. It's almost a question of, you know, Sagittarius makes me so happy, but I don't know if I make them that happy. I don't know if they're as happy to be with me. Again, it doesn't make it true on your end, Sagittarius. This is just your person's perspective. This is someone who listens to the thoughts in their mind more than accepting the reality of a situation. And again, in return, this can be the reason why things are becoming a, or, or there's a blockage between the both of you. Because this is someone who um, tends to either jump to assumptions or they believe what they tell their self. Okay? Um, Nine of Cups. Six of Wands. Yeah, this person feels like you're definitely a catch here. Confirmation, there's your energy on the bottom of the deck, Sagittarius. But I feel like for some of you, it's like this energy of, okay, I want to pursue you. You make me so happy. I can no longer hold back. But I feel like the Seven of Swords upright, again, for some of you, it's this energy of you not trusting this person. You feeling like they're still doing something behind your back. The Seven of Swords could be read as someone who is doing something behind your back or someone who is currently being very, very strategic when it comes to planning their next moves. So what's the Seven of Swords? Ten of Wands, yeah. Knight of Swords. There's something, some sort of communication that took place between the both of you and it's rubbing you the wrong way. Like even if you're if you feel like you've healed from it, every time you think about it, there's something that that you that um, aggravates you, right? Knight of Swords. It could be very quick communication, communication where you feel like you know your emotions were not understood, or someone you know particularly said something to rub you the wrong way. And with the Ten of Wands, you feel like you know again this connection comes with a lot of drama, or it feels so burdensome that you don't feel like trying again at this time. It's not to say you're not open to maybe, uh, you know, speaking with this person, but something about the situation seems very temporarily stable to you. You have a hard time believing that this person could offer you long-term stability. What's the Ten of Wands? King of Swords. The chariot. This could be an air sign for some of you, but this is someone who definitely wants to have a truthful conversation with you. You know, seven of swords, ten of wands. So this person's very well aware that things came to an end due to the fact that either they were sneaking around or they felt like they weren't up front with you. So this could be, you know, this could resonate differently for, for you know, um, each of you. It could be that for some of you, this person wasn't upfront about their emotions. They were downplaying their emotions. Maybe for others of you, this person wasn't clear with what they wanted or, or clear with their intentions here. But with the King of Swords, you know, they know Seven of Swords, Ten of Wands, things came to an end because of that. But King of Swords is someone who is now operating from a logical state, someone who wants to have an open and honest conversation with you in hope that you would want to pursue this again so let's see what's the king of wands seven of cups this person feels like you have options Sagittarius I, I genuinely feel that here yeah ace of wands they feel like not only are you very attractive but like you you have um like a very like something about you is very alluring something about you is very you know people really gravitate towards you like not only do they feel like you may have a lot of romantic interest, they feel like even if it's just like platonic relationships or like friendships, right? They, they feel like people always want to be around you. 
something about your energy the, the energy that you exude here right and this person again with sabotage this person could be in their own mind about okay what makes me different what makes me stand out from the rest will sagittarius actually choose me and there's something about when this person speaks to you they they feel like they're bothering you or like they try not to speak to you too much because they feel like you're busy I don't know why I'm getting that, but I am getting that here. They feel like things in your life move very quickly. You know, you could be someone who likes to travel a lot. Uh, you know, you go after what you're passionate about, but it's almost like this person feels that, you know, what makes me stand out from the rest, right? There's a lack of confidence in terms of, can I, uh, does Sagittarius actually feel the same way about me as I do about them? What's the Seven of Cups? And again, guys, I don't necessarily see any wrong or bad intentions behind this person's uh you know what they want to do here because yes yeah, seven of swords but it's it's being clarified by the ten of wands and the king of swords which means they're aware of why things came to an end or if things did not come to an end and this is a this is more of like a newer connection where you guys had some sort of misunderstanding they're they're understanding why you may have felt that things were one-sided or they're starting to understand why you may have felt misunderstood in a situation okay um seven of cups the world yeah they feel like one cycle is coming to an end but they want to turn over a new leaf here this could be a fixed sign okay aquarius leo scorpio or a taurus but i see this as someone who is wanting a change in this dynamic they're wanting like some sort of firm decision to be made and the next card is the knight of wands right it's almost like if this person was in and out or fickle sagittarius i feel like you you kind of match their energy not saying that you're a player or you wanted to match their energy, but you were kind of showing them like, hey, if you want to act like you have options or you don't want to solely focus on me, I can do the same thing, right? Like you're not going to toy with my emotions or you're not going to make me feel like an option. So there's something about you matching this person's energy and it was very unexpected for this person is what I see. Knight of Wands. death card if, if this person you know if pretty much in your mind you feel like in order for things to work out between the both of you they need to put an end to this in and out behavior again if it's not someone who is you know actively sleeping with others or involved in other connections you feel like the, they only communicate with you when it's convenient for them or they communicate with you for weeks on end and then they pull back their energy so this in and out up and down emotional roller coaster energy has to come to a complete end the world and the death card is major transformation so this could be the reason why this person is sensing that you're moving on or you have your options open or you know you're kind of you know your life is really moving to um, like another stage at this time they do feel like many things are changing for you the world and the death right that's like a very very major transformation here what's the death card i did see the justice card on the bottom of the deck so some of you could be dealing with the libra four of swords four of pentacles you know what i think is going to shock this person if you choose not to invest in this because four of pentacles is an energy of holding back and four of swords is like a rest period you're healing from something you're not speaking it's a period of silence so if you guys choose to close out this cycle and just remain silent with this individual they will be very shocked and it's because they're used to you giving them a reaction or they're used to coming in and speaking to you and anticipating some sort of reply and actually receiving it or, or some sort of response here so if you don't respond to this person it will really shock them and what's interesting is we have the world the death and the four swords upright which means some of you that is what you're choosing to do you know that is what you're choosing to do in terms of i don't want to communicate with this person at this time i don't want to uh, be vulnerable with them i feel like i need to put this to an end because it's almost like you feel this person comes in they say the right things but then you're you find yourself in that same hamster wheel some sort of repetitive cycle here so what's the two of wands? See, four of cups. So pretty much what I told you guys, some of you are not interested in this offer because you're still focused on what happened in the past here. 
And again, some of you are actively healing through what has occurred. So when you're communicating with this person, there is still some sort of um, hurt that is in your heart. It's not like you're completely healed and you're speaking to this person with a clean slate. You're, you still have a lot on your mind. And more importantly, you have more in your a lot in your heart in terms of hurt. Four of Cups, again, focused on the past, not really focused on the, on, on the on what's in front of you right now. So even if you're not looking for a new option, even if you're not actively looking towards the future, you're definitely not um, you know, looking towards rekindling something because you feel like it's going to be the same thing over and over again. Some of you are at the point of being very tired, right? What's the Four of Cups? The star, this could be an Aquarius, okay guys? Um, and then we also have the Two of Cups, see? There could be something that's very tempting about this connection for you too, Sagittarius, because Two of Cups means mutual emotions. But the thing is, both of you are very stressed out right now thinking about the future, but both of you are still very well aware of something that happened in the past. So with the Two of Cups, it means mutual emotions. What you're thinking about, this person's thinking about. What you're aware of, they're aware of as well. The star, you know, you guys do share this very unique and rare connection. So there is this energy of wanting to heal this. But what I see with the in your future outcome, there are two of wands, four of cups, star, and two of cups is there, you know, even if you're speaking to this person right now, you're conversing back and forth, you feel like there's not really a solid plan in hand for you to emotionally invest in this situation or solely just focus on this person like put your put all your attention here four of cups um you know in general lets me know that the reason why you may choose not to move forward with this person is again the fact that the past is still affecting you the fact that you're still actively healing through something that bothers you right um and i feel like for many of you there's also this energy of you feeling very impatient because even if you were to rekindle something with this person you feel like it would be very repetitive what's the two of cups See, nine of pentacles. You, you're kind of focusing on being on your own right now, right? It's like you don't know if right now the right thing to do is invest your emotions into this. You don't know if right now you want to be vulnerable with this person. So I see in the near future here, yes, this person will be um, coming in to speak to you, okay? And they're, it's almost like in their mind they feel like you're not interested. Um, but with that nine of pentacles there, this will happen when you're just enjoying your singlehood. So for some of you, that's right now, right? You're just focused on focused on healing. You're focused on pouring into your own cup. But with the nine of pentacles upright, some of you may choose to be independent. You know this connection makes you happy. You know you make this person happy, but you don't know if that's the most stable decision because nine of pentacles, pentacles in general, that speaks about stability. You know, what exists for the long haul, you know, something that's tangible, something that is solid. So if, you know, this connection is missing those things, then you may choose to say, you know what, I'm just going to be independent for now. Okay, Sagittarius. So that is what I'm getting for you guys this week. I really do hope you were able to find a message that resonated with you here today. And uh, thank you so much for your time.